We've looked at black shells theoretically so far. Here we're going to look at it in practice. Black shells is an approximation, like any model, with gaps. Its assumptions on assets are as follows. The rate of return of riskless assets is constant. The log returns of asset is log normal with constant drift and volatility. Stock do not pay dividend. Now we've been using as our riskless rate the US 10 year bond but that's changing all the time. Yet when we price things we're assuming that that remains constant. So already the, we can see that these assumptions are not 100% believable. It also makes assumptions on the market. There is no arbitrage opportunity. You can borrow lend any amount at riskless rate. You can buy sell any amount so even 0 0.182 of a share of stock. Do all of these seem reasonable? And transactions are free. The model can underestimate extreme moves, so tail risks. Now you can hedge those with out of the money options though. It assumes instant costless trading. And when that breaks down, there is a liquidity risk. And that is difficult to hedge. It assumes stationary process, which leads to volatility risk, which you can hedge with volatility hedging. Finally, it assumes continuous time and trading. And when that breaks down, you can have a gap risk, which you can hedge with gamma hedging. So there is criticism from various sources. For example, it says the Black Shoals model merely recasts dot 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 in terms of practically impossible dynamic hedging rather than risk to make them more compatible with mainstream neoclassical economic theory. So you can read more about this on Wikipedia. But I hope this gives you something to think about.